Combine all the moons and minor planets and put it in the Hathor zone. Okay, so I've got a simulation designed for just that purpose. As we can see, absolutely everything in here. Ganymede being the largest. And I'm assuming this is all going to become part of Ganymede once we speed this up. So let's go ahead and press play. Watch as the action unfolds. So here we go. So Ganymede, yeah, as expected, is consuming absolutely everything. It's all falling in there. Oh dear. And Ganymede is going to eat up all of the mass of every minor object in the solar system and every single moon as you can see it's all falling in the last of the minor moons all going into Ganymede there and that is all the mass of the solar system that is not the planets there so there we go let's let the object cool down see how it does then we're going to go ahead and plop it in the solar system Okay, so we're in the solar system now. I'm going to place our planet Ganymede 1 AU from the sun as well. There it is. So it's now in the simulation. Still needs to cool down from its collision from our previous simulation. As you can see, the gases need to equalise. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Let's do a few orbits around the sun. Let's see how the temperature survives. Okay, so initially it's cooling down, but now, ooh, it's warming up again. How high is it going to go? Let's speed up time. Oh dear, that's gone a lot higher than expected. So, sitting at 160 plus, 165 right now. So, looks like all that extra material picked up from probably Titan, maybe Io. It's giving it too much greenhouse effect. Okay, so hundreds of years later, planet Ganymede is still sitting at 165 Celsius. So, technically, it's just become a miniature Venus.